guys, it's me, Devin, and what we're going to be doing today <clears throat> is we're going to be looking at Table 43, the FBI's Crime Statistics. As you guys will know, I do a lot of political videos as well as any other type of video, and I want to just get this out. The f fact that 8 million crimes have been committed in the last year alone, it's ridiculous. It's, it's too much. But, I did this because of a number of things. We look at African American or black that, you know, whatever. They make up about 13% of our population, yet nearly 2.2 million of the crimes are done by them. I say them, but we're really all humans, so it just... Yeah. It's a, it's such a divisive time that you can't really, you have to choose one or the other. You can't really not because there's no way you're not. Trying to keep yourself out of the side of both will just destroy you. So, <clears throat> African Americans make up 13% of the population. And overall, 26.6% of the crime in the U.S. That is twice their population. White people underperform generally in everything as they are about 78% of the United States population. And commit about 69.7% of crime is committed by people who identify as white. Okay. So, if we look at ma murder and non-negligent manslaughter. Whites, 459 And African Americans or blacks. Again, 13% of the population, yet 51% of murder. That, that, that is ridiculous. You want to know why that, that race gets looked at like that? Look at this. Just look at this. This right here. Look at this. 51.1%. And they only make up 13% of our population. You can say it is for any reason you want to. But there's plenty of black people that have made it out of the ghettos and out of the slums. And plenty of people of black descent and plenty of black people in general that simply don't have this problem. I have a couple of black friends myself that one of them was born out of the ghettos and put pulled himself out. And the other ones, they weren't born in the ghettos. So not all black people are born in the ghettos. You simply cannot st state to me that these crimes are all part of white oppression. You can't. You can't. And if you do... You're just pushing facts behind your own feelings. And that's what happens generally. People push their facts, push facts behind them just so other people can feel more included or more right. So they'll do what you want them to do. Anyway, 
We now go to rape. 68% by whites, 28.2% by blacks. And again, about 70, maybe a little more percent of the population is white. About 13% of the population is black. Still, blacks outperforming there. 28.2% of rape. And that can't even, you can't even acquit that and save it. That is because of some area that they live in. Because how many people can say, I live in this area, so I stick my dick in somebody? You can't. That's impossible. If you try to, you're just making excuses, and excuses will never help anybody. Okay. We have robbery next. Another big one. 44% by identifying as white and 53% by blacks. Let's just think about that. 13% of the population, 53% of robberies. And that's not burglary. That's robbery. There is petty theft, I guess, but I don't think the FBI would actually count petty theft in their uh, in their data charts. And if they do, I think that, yeah, larceny or theft, that's something different. Uh, anyway, we're now going to just go straight into aggravated assault. White, 64%. Again, still under there, under what the national average is and what the national population is, 32.1% for African Americans, and that's ridiculous. It's ridiculous for these to go on at all, for any of this to go on. There shouldn't be any crime. But especially on the side of black or African, whatever you want to call them, Whatever you want to call people with dark skin, I don't care what you call them, but, I mean, really? You're asking why people are so scared of you, this is why. You make up 13% of our population, but yet you overperform in every, every single crime statistic. Why is that? Why is that? Okay. Now we're talking about burglary. 68.1% white. 29.5% black. And burglary also disproportionately happens in the cities. So... It's no surprise that a majority of that is white. And nearing our, uh, nearing the white national population. However, African American or black people, I have to say both of those, because if I say black people, some people get angry, and if I say African American people, somebody will get angry. Somebody, I guess somebody will get angry no matter what you do. But, 29.5%, and again, 13.3% African American population. 29.5% of burglary. Larceny and theft. Again, white shine here because a lot of larceny and theft happens in big cities where whites are prominent. And not in cities like Detroit. I'm talking like, uh, let's let's say New York or L. Like big cities that aren't murder capitals. Murder capitals are different than big cities, in my eyes. Murder capitals are Baton Rouge, Detroit. Uh, What's that? What 
What's that place? Chicago. Those. Those types of cities. Those are what I call murder capitals. Okay. Motor vehicle theft. So, essentially, Grand Theft Auto. 29.4 for African Americans. 67.2 for whites. Again, comparatively, whenever you're comparing this, a lot more is done by whites, but still less than proportion to the overall population that identifies as white. So, by technicalities, whites are underperforming in all of these categories, whereas African Americans, we'll just go down this list and continue to go down it, overperform in every single aspect here we go. What what is this? What 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 is this one? The thirteen point eight and the thirteen point two. They they don't overperform in that one. What is that? I, w- I don't know what that is. Driving under the influence. Yeah, that's that's unsurprising. <sighs> there there are a lot of white people that do drive under the influence, and that's ridiculous. It's absolutely insane. But uh. Liquor laws, a lot of white people do break liquor laws. And I I don't quite understand what is the real appeal of alcohol. It may just be me, but I don't understand it. And then there's 14.3% for drunkenness. 76% for whites. These are the few areas where whites actually overperform. And... Whenever we think about it, these are the only three, and they are coincidentally all about alcoholism. It's unsurprising, due to the fact that the white out of uh, the white Christianity rate has also fell starkly. And the white attendance in church has fell starkly. It it doesn't surprise me that drunkenness, one of the devil's worst inventions, is the thing that takes a lot of whites to jail. Okay, so let's go on. Total arrests, ethnicity... If we look at this, total arrests, 6 million. Hispanic or Latino, not Hispanic or Latino, 5 million. So, that, that, that is ridiculous. But let's go back down here. Okay, so let's go up here. We got arson. Again, one of the things whites don't necessarily overperform or underperform. They're actually on beat, but blacks do overperform. They overperform on that as well, and that is arson. Violent crime. If we look at violent crime, which is kind of a gray area in law, 36.4% African American compared to 60.1% for whites, but again, look at the 70%, uh, probably even more than 70% turnout rate for uh, the white population compared to the 13.3% of the African American population it's ridiculous and it is very consistent even the ones where I said they over even the ones where African Americans I said overperformed uh, and Unsurprisingly, gambling is a big problem for African Americans, but that's just because they 
they don't have anything else to do, I guess. So. No, not the seventeenth. Uh. That's when I go back to the doctor. Offenses against family and children. That's unsurprisingly white, to me. The only one that they really underperformed in was thirteen point two, and that was driving under the influence. Curfew and loitering law uh, violations. I know what curfew is, and I think it's kind of weird that anybody in a free society has a curfew by the state. I got the damn tool. The tool to unscrew it. I'll fix it tomorrow. I'll fix it tomorrow. She's busy in there. And then there's suspicion. And here's the big one. People constantly claim, oh, this, that, and that, it's suspicion. Forty-four percent for whites and twenty-seven point four percent for blacks, and I understand there's a lot of background noise, but they won't shut the fuck up. So, it forty-four point one percent white suspicion, twenty-seven point four percent black suspicion, twenty-seven point zero percent. For American Indian or Alaskan Native. How? That is weird. Anyway, suspicion as a whole only affects African Americans so heavily is because of 26.6, 51, 28. 53, 32, 29, 27, 29, 22, 36, 27, 30, 33, 31, 36, 32, 27, 40, 39, 23, 27, 56, and so on. It's because they commit an extremely disproportionate amount of crime, and it's that simple. That's the reason why they have such a big problem with this and why they're pulled over so much more and why they're arrested so much more. You commit a disproportionate amount of crime, you will reap the benefits of that action. What is you talking about? Goodbye.